Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have fun with an easy image transfer process. And to get this transfer done, all we need is basically acrylic paint. So you probably already have everything you need for this fun process. And at the end of this video, I will show you different ways you can use this transfer. So stick around and let me know if you're going to give it a try. And before we go on, I'd like to mention this process and many other fun image processes can be found in my book, the Mixed Media Photography book, which is available in print on Amazon and a digital ebook version available on Etsy. So if you're interested in getting this book, check out the links to the book below this video. And if you already have the book, this process is on page 38. <laughs> Okay, so like I mentioned before, for this process, all you need is acrylic paint. And you can use any paint you want, even inexpensive craft paint. You need brushes to apply the paint and basically any brush will do. And you can transfer your image to almost any surface like wood, canvas, glass, watercolor paper, whatever you have. And I'm going to start by transferring to this uh, canvas panel. Now the image you transfer can be color or black and white and it can be printed with an inkjet or laser printer. Anything goes. My photo is printed with a laser printer and it's a photo I took in Florida last year, just in time before the first lockdown. And I'm going to apply some craft paint to my surface, but you can apply it to the image if you want, whatever is easier for you. I place my image face down onto the wet paint and I press with my hands to create a nice bond. So normally I'll wait for the transfer to completely dry, but today I'm going to speed up the process and use a heat gun. Next I spread the back of the transfer with water. And I begin peeling off the paper. Usually I like to start at the corner. I think this is my very favorite part of the process. It's very relaxing. And let me take this opportunity to tell you about my online classes. So if you want to learn step by step how to image transfer and gel print your own photos, be sure to check out my online classes. They are fun and easy. They are also ongoing, which means you can sign up now and take them at your own pace whenever you have time. No pressure. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, there are links to the online classes below this video. Okay, so now I'm going to put it aside to dry and meanwhile I'm going to work on another transfer. This time I will transfer to wood. I usually like to work on two or even more transfers at the same time. I think this botanical illustration will look nice on the round wood.
Okay, now back to the first one. When you're done removing the paper, you might notice there is still some paper left over the image. But don't worry, once you apply the protective finish, the paper will disappear. I like to use Krylon Clear Spray. Gloss or flat are both fine. Or you can also use a brush on finish. And by the way, there are links to all the supplies that I used today below this video. Yeah, so now let me show you more transfers I made with acrylic paint. This photo was transferred to watercolor paper. This one is on unstretched canvas and it was transferred using just one color, sparkly gold. This one also is another monochrome transfer and sometimes I like to add scratches so the transfer is a little grungy and not too perfect. I especially add the scratches along the edges. And this is a transfer from a color laser print. And for this transfer on wood, I use neon paints. And this one is on canvas and I used a few shades of the same color. This one is also a good example why I like image transfer so much. It never turns out perfect. It looks unrefined and so unique. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below. And I'll see you in the next video.